Hello guys and welcome to this new video. So today I want to show you how to write an epic battle theme using only Audio Imperia Nucleus. So Nucleus is a really great orchestral library. It's perfect for starting out with orchestral music and you can get it in two versions. The light version, which is only $99. And with the light version you get full ensemble for strings, woodwind, brass, and choirs, and essential tonal and atonal percussion and some sound design patches. The great thing about Nucleus and Nucleus Lite is that they work with Contact 6 player, which is the free version you get with uh, the purchase of Nucleus. The light version is only five gigabytes, while the full version in which you get as you can see, in which you get soloist, individual instrument section, pre-orchestrated ensembles, and uh, re uh, legato patches, and a full uh, percussion section, and some extra sound design elements, it's, it is only 20 gigabytes. Okay, let's get back to our track. So, this is a battle theme I wrote for a video game called Asterism. It's a visual novel with some RPG elements. You can try out the demo at the link in the description and you can also go to the Steam page and wishlist it if you like it. Okay, so the main idea behind this battle theme it's a 9-8 figure uh, called the 9-8 clave that goes tuck 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 it's a great rhythmic idea it's pretty common in video game music using for battle theme uh, odd time signature. Um, master of this is Mrs. Yoko Shimomura from the Kingdom Hearts series. Um, I started um, laying down and layering down a drum track, which is this one. And on top of this one, I added some timpanis. Okay, so on this rhythmic idea, I lay I lay down some really simple, really simple harmony. It's a D minor that goes to B flat major, keeping a, a D pedal tone. So really, really simple. Okay, mm, for example, strings, uh, cello, and basses, they really, they simply. Uh, play a D and then this harmony is on it's underlined by violins and uh, the violas okay so really really simple Okay, my track, it's divided in three different moments. There is this intro, or this first part, after a short intro with a synthesizer. We'll take a listen to this, this later. Then there is a um, quieter moment. And then there is the big finale. Okay, so the main idea behind uh, this first moment, it's this 9-8 uh, clave with the... Uh, D minor, B flat major with the D pedal tone. So I decided to keep the orchestration pretty simple over here. As you can see, we have only uh, low strings um, doubling the rhythmic figure with the D pedal tone. And then we have some um, violin staccatos and violas doing this arpeggio. Okay, then moving on to brass. Uh, I decided to incorporate some um, trumpet staccato as a small quote to one of my most influential composer, which is uh, John Williams. And this is something he, he always does. This And I, I think it works pretty well. 
Okay, let's take a listen just to the brass, the percussion and the strings. Okay, then there is this horn doing a simple build up melody. And in the end, we have some trombones thickening up the harmony and some tuba thickening up the low end. Okay, so notice how the horn, even if the piece is in 9-8, the horn is kind of raising like it's in 4-4. This is uh, an idea I kept then in the middle part. Okay, as I said, I wanted to keep the orchestration simple in this first moment. And I initially wrote a lot of oboe clarinets and staccatos, clarinet staccato and bassoon staccato, but then I decided to only keep some flutes doubling the, the violins. So now let's take a listen to this first part altogether. What you're hearing are unprocessed tracks. I later mixed it, mix it using my Universal Audio Apollo Twin. I show you how I did it. So I have here some stems. Okay, so what you're hearing, it's just nucleus out of the box. Okay, so after this first part, we move into a quieter second moment, which is really, really simple. It's um, an ostinato on this 9-8 on the snare drum. And then there is a, a low synthesizer doing a deep pedal note. And then we have the oboe uh, phrasing some melodies over a D minor scale. Okay, as we said about the horn, in the first section, here the oboe, even if the rhythm is in 9-8, the, the oboe is phrasing like it's in 4-4. So what we get, it's an ambiguous rhythmic sensation. We have drums going in a way and oboe phrasing in another, so we have this contrast. And this contrast builds up to our last part. Now let's hear this middle section. Okay, so in this last part, we build up uh, to this big epic finale. The time signature changes from 9-8 to 4-4. And also our harmony evolves a little bit. It goes from D minor to B flat major with the D pedal tone. It goes to D minor, B, B flat major, F major, and a C suspended that resolve onto a C major. Really simple. For an epic sounding track, we don't need to have, uh, you know, mm, quite a complex harmony going on underneath. We just need something simple and effective. And this is this work, works perfectly because we layered this harmony with some melodies and thick orchestration. As you can see here, we have a thicker orchestration. We have uh, violin staccatos, viola staccatos, cello staccato, bass staccatos, then we have violins doing melody and then violins doubling the melody on the last part and doubling the clarinets, the oboe and the flute. So we have this big melody at the end. It really kicks in and it moves greatly to the end of the tune. Okay, let's hear this melody. It's 
start with the oboe, then it's double, uh, then there is a variation, and it's doubled by oboe, by clarinets and first violins. And then there is another variation, and it's doubled by flute, oboe, clarinets, violin 1 and violin 2 on 3 octaves. We have this big melody, as you can, as you can hear. Okay, so, all the other uh, orchestral parts, like bassoon, uh, flute staccatos, clarinet staccatos, trumpet staccatos, um, trombones, tuba, and low strings, and timpani, they simply are doubling um, the rhythmic harmony underneath this uh, simple melody. Okay, so, let's hear this last part all together. Okay, so uh, as you can hear in this last uh, part, there is a synth that uh, it's here just for uh, looping purposes. Because since this track, it's um, it's a video game track, it needs to loop seamlessly. So I put the same synth pattern at the beginning and at the end. So when you hear it in loop, you won't hear it looping. Okay, so now let's move on talking about uh, the mixing part. Okay, so for the mixing part, what I did it's something a little unusual. I took my stems, section stems, so woodwind, brass, timpani, strings, synth, and drums and synth, and I actually send it, send them out to um, another output of my universal audio, and then with two um, cables, I routed them back into my main inputs and then I mix it using the console. So what I actually had it was I had every stem going mm, not all together but um, one stem at a time so I, I started with drums and I EQ compressed and did some other stuff on drums here then I kept more or less the same um, settings and processed the strings and then the brass, and then the woodwinds and then the synthesizer. So at the end I got this mix. Okay, so let's hear the final mix all together.
Okay, so this was the final result. Um, you can actually hear the full mix and master uh, in this other video uh, if you click in the box that's that appears now. I think we are okay for today's video. I said everything I wanted to say. So I really recommend Nucleus. It's a really great library for, for this kind of uh, epic and bombastic orchestral music. Uh, if you're looking for something uh, softer, maybe you should get... Um, Mm, something else and if you're really looking into a cohesive sound probably you should get a uh, spitfire bbc symphony orchestra but uh, i made another video about spitfire symphony orchestra core since i already did one about uh, bbc symphony orchestra discover which i suggest you to go and watch it okay so uh, that's it for today i remember you that i'm available for private lessons and if you want this logic project, uh, please send me a message and I'd be happy to share it with you. So you can tweak it and you can actually uh, see what I did uh, in depth. Okay, so it's th that's all for today's video. Please leave a like um, and subscribe and be sure to follow me on Twitter, on Facebook and on Instagram. And that's all. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.